and Professor Balasan only Dean Academics. We have infected and come on back with the register. Manisha Mene, Head of Computer Science and Engineering. Opportunity. Maybe we will open up for other students also. But as I know, it is only for LNT. We had a number with LNT, and uh, we are uh, <coughs> of course we are training the DRD for young scientists. Those who are and every year we train the newly inducted scientists. In a ten-week program, but then now we are having plans to offer uh, from the coming years, maybe I think next year or whenever it gets approved, an MTech program for newly inducted scientists. They will go go out to the DRD work with an MTech degree, so that they will be fully trained for they to take up the DRD work research activities. So one year will be in DIT, one year will be in the respective lab, doing the project and their work. And uh, so that way, I think it is more uh, beneficial to the DRDO so that they are getting fully trained uh, scientists to work directly on the areas which they are interested. In. Second, now we are running a lot of customized courses, particularly uh, like to PSUs. One is DRDO we have done, and BDL, Bell, and uh, so many PSUs. It's a short-term courses for the young uh, executives or middle-level uh, executives, so that uh, they get uh, uh, periodic training to get into the latest happenings in the technologies. And similarly, you know, our computer science department runs uh, a popular course, particularly I think all of you know the there is more emphasis on uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and cyber security. These areas are becoming more and more and we are running online courses and a lot of uh, subscription is there. In fact, that is one way of revenue generation for DIT. And this year specifically, Ministry of Home Affairs, I think recently it came in media also, that uh, they want to train uh, because cyber commandos they call as a training program. They identified some 10 institutes, I don't know, I think, I'm not exact number, but uh, like IITs and all, DIT is also one of the institutes identified. And we'll be training the uh, six months program on cyber security. Particularly, they get trained, they, because nowadays cyber uh, threats and uh, these type of things are becoming more... It's called MHA officials. MHA officials. Sometime in, uh, we are thinking of November, I think already, the course will be inaugurated sometime in September 10th. Dr. Manisha? When will it start? It will start in the first week of November. It will be extension and six months. Around 40 to 50 officers from MHA, they will be there. Yes, officers, yes. IPS officers and some law agents and enforcement members will be part of it. We are the only one in Pune who has been identified to take this course. Okay? And what are the focus areas of this course? Uh, we focus on right from starting with the basics to mobile forensic, system forensic, uh, uh, pressing of packets, communications, replacement uh, of websites. Uh, point is what the intention is. And, uh, we are purely PG program and number of students are less. So I think that is what the rank, I think now we are trying to see how to increase, uh, go b below 50. I think that slowly I think we are having a roadmap where we will try to go achieve the NIRF ranking much below 50 and try to be more. Uh, so when you say number one as compared to what? 
Pune you must be like all in your colleges, you know, colleges in Pune. It is number one. But Lali in the engineering category. We are always at top level, so we are always number one in the engineering category, at least for last two to three years. So you can compare us, for example, with you. Just an example. There are about 4,000 people in the engineering colleges in India. 20 kilowatt, particularly a distance of 5 kilometers to the sky UAVs, that type of things. Particularly the core element is the laser source. Our, uh, we have, in fact, we do a lot of projects from DRDO, the particularly low TR level projects where the basic research happens and uh, we bring it to a reasonably good uh, technology readiness level and hand it over to DRDO so that they take it forward with the industry as a full-fledged product. So in this case we are uh, particularly, uh, we, our physics department particularly I think, uh, we, are we are taking up the project, we have taken up 
in particularly in the high power laser laser source so that uh, that's how DIT is working on that type of system but as a complete weapon system DIT is not the DIT lab is working on that just say that they don't believe that if you went up a wall, let's say with China, they would probably use, uh, you know, since everything is digitized now, you know, from helicopters to aircraft to everything, to sell people. So they would probably use laser and sound, even sound, to jam the system so that, you know, uh, the helicopter or the aircraft will not work. Is, is that a fact? Is, is laser may not be, but the, I think maybe I think you can say, but, the high power uh, electron means uh, the uh, waves, they are used for jamming, particularly to the, to the electronic uh, equipment or the RF equipment. So, DIT also uh, we have a very good program in quantum technology. I think it is an Adhan can give a better idea because he is the director of the quantum technology. Hello. Uh, this has a very unique character. Our Vice Chancellor is unique in the sense that we are first, in the sense, first responders to any potential national security threat to be any of the emergent technologies across the world. We have people who assess this really and try to respond it in very initial programs. You asked about the use of controlled lasers uh, in uh, the science subjects so this is just uh, as the uh, very center of the this uh, program uh, by the media. And many such programs, the DRD was featured in the initiative and development of this. We also have a substantial expertise uh, in the area of Paris. We have expertise in soft things of drones. So these are going to be current and uh, immediately person gets which we have to respond to. So we had demonstrated last year And also, uh, nationally, 
to Sandhya programs and advertisements, and huge investment is happening in the economic area, looking at the threats coming from Atasabhara. Atasabhara, for instance, we are in a financial technology, where there is going to be here the first of the major change in the way we consume, where we secure information itself. And we are completely new types of technology that have come to take power. How much is the source now in that? Once you have the mastery of generating, manipulating, computing, and securing data, that you are on top of it. So this early program has been started. Earlier, the Hanukkah Special School has started. So the country has a national contribution for this year or so, that is great. Now, so much is so close to us. So we spent over the years. The main initiative is the government. Likewise, artificial intelligence and machine learning, these are also critical here. Again, some of the scientists are taking here are very good experts in this. So, to summarize, yes, we are a teaching institution, but most of our research is directed towards the function that we have told us. We have very specialized strategy addressing security issues. In how many of you also develop devices? In the UAE, we say we have a robotic system. So, maybe we have a person to be on the other side. This is now the Aerospace Engineering Department. We deal with the Agile Design Program as well as the Agile Design Program. Now, we have the Institute of Malaya created with some private companies also. So, we have the students of training in the latest degree in the university. As well as, we are directly connected with the Agile Design Program for the Design Program. Any questions? Dr. Nambati. Yes, we can go far and 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 go far. You talked about special courses for the industry partners and starting to be a M&T. What is the role of that? I mean, how plan to take this forward and what will be the components of these courses? So we, one is particularly, as I said, with respect to system engineering. And just to... So, and then we also add anti-specifically because they are introduced in manufacturing. Yeah. So, focus on that point. Explain the future roadmap. So, future roadmap, one is particularly and other one we are, I think, thinking is in the, particularly in the era technologies, particularly in the, in the, our electronics department, school of era technologies. Particularly now, if you see, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, until now we were importing I mean, the data center, but I think now the, the current the industries and DRDO made a lot of indigenous data, and we are fully 100% uh, have the capability to develop any kind of radar in India. So that's why now a lot of industries are kept coming up. But really, once the idea of dialogue, it doesn't mean that it has to be produced through industry only. So, now a lot of industries are coming up. So, now there is a huge demand to train this uh, industrial manpower in these areas. So, that's also why I think we are now gearing up to, uh, particularly in, uh, in the campus, also in the online mode. And does this stem from the entire philosophy behind? Yeah, particularly, yeah. It is really towards Alpha Nip, make an India and Alpha Nip. So that, as I think, recent budget also, there is more emphasis on skill development, trained manpower and all. So I think we are gearing up towards that so that offering more, not only MTEC, but also in the PG diploma type of courses. And we are trying to see that more and more our young students, Youngsters are getting tried in the area and available for investment. Okay. So, uh, in the last year, uh, we had received one uh, mandate from the saying that uh, uh, educate the youth of nation in the area of most critical subjects like cybersecurity <coughs> and uh, 
and artificial intelligence. And in view of that, India had 75 uh, under the program of Atmini Nidhar Bharat. At the time, we had a priority. I successfully launched an online uh, certification course in cyber security. Uh, that course was for 16 weeks. And uh, in AIML, that course was for 12 weeks. And we are uh, glad to tell that successfully we could train 3,000 plus candidates at time India level, uh, which we did not restrict it only to IT companies. So we had professionals from IT companies who wanted to take up this course. Also, we could reach to the grassroots, where wherever the internet facility was available, we could see that the new who are graduating and are had opted for this course. And uh, we are again uh, very glad to convey that most of them were then given jobs at ministry, various ministry offices, who contribute for helping uh, with cyber security perspectives and national services. And as a appreciation of that, probably MHA, Ministry of Home Affairs, probably took the cognizance of that. So we did not reach out to them, but because they got the inputs about this course, they were invited in their offices, and a special committee had a uh, long discussion with us at that national level. We want to close such courses, and from your experience, please share what is our experience, what modules should go in, how long the course should be, and what should be the infrastructure and all. So we, we are glad that we could contribute in uh, giving them the inputs so as to you know, uh, take it forward, and which is very materialized now. So when you said November, which means it's you are already going to prepare for it to begin. So what is the exact you know, title of the course, and if whatever can be shared, can be talked about? So for now, uh, we can only convey that it is uh, taking the cycle from our knees. Uh, that is the uh, only uh, thing which we can convey. Uh, our course is of uh, 12 modules at the most. Uh, and 6 months it will be? And 6 months. For NHA officers? For NHA officers. Can you state your name and then we'll be Sir, uh, I'm Manisha Lee. I'm the head of computer science and engineering department. So you mentioned about the short process which is getting good revenue. So can you elaborate about that? So how many courses are running and how much revenue is getting to get in it? So you can... So actually we have three courses which we need to connect to our legacy audience factory. So we have uh, IOFS uh, officers who come uh, for their training. Uh, we also have uh, officers from Bharat Forge uh, along with LNT as we have told you. Then Mastroff uh, uh, officials also come from training here. Uh, Brahmos is uh, one uh, very good uh, place from where the officers come here for training, typically in the department of aerospace engineering. IOFS people come in the applied for history. PSU Bell BDL. Bell BDL, Bharat Dynamics Limited. Uh, we, have had, we have a very good collaboration with Pune Knowledge Cluster. So through PKC, we have uh, given training not only to the companies but also to the university faculty members, the students from different parts of the country. So these are uh, courses which go on continuously, but these are mainly for the students. <laughs> Indian Navy, yes. Uh, I am Sabda. Yes. So, can you tell me about the 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 we have gone further ahead now to talk about computer science, but for that matter, Bharat Food is sponsoring their banking for specific programs. Now, it has further culminated, as I said, into that this training program for the United States would lead to recognition of the training in the account of MKBT, where the course model would be delivered by the institute and the generation would be done jointly with the value of that and one of our faculty. Need to publish results. 
So it has been a whole circle that the how from brain is to dedicated media. So we are asking them what we do. So our degree program typically we don't give empathy as a space in India. We give empathy in five years. That is how we are getting them from this institution and that's how we are strong to do their thing for us. And the fact that so many institutions put trust in you Maybe that will be the banking also. Just to add to this point, recently, recently, I think this is the first time in this conversation, about 8 to 10 MSc students, information technology, Navy officers, who come to INS Hamla for a period of 11 months, is getting converted to MSc degree.